Hi guys, welcome to the energy update for my friends Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Let's see what the tarot has to say for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And we are ready. So, Eight of Cups, Seven of Swords, Eight of Wands, Queen of Wands, our focus from the bottom of the deck, the word, closing of a cycle, closing of a chapter. There can be an apology involved, guys, uh, not enough. And the Page of Pentacles can even be your approach because the Page of Pentacles for me is the most diligent between the four. He wants to learn as much as he can. So speaking about love, guys, some of you may leave behind a situation with a partner or a person of interest that um, was not fulfilling enough. Uh, there was something unclear, something hidden because of the moon in the background in the Eight of Cups. The man is willing to go all out on an adventure, pursuing his own ultimate emotional fulfillment. He is going to leave behind a situation that was not uh, able to bring fulfillment of heart and soul. Uh, the reason can be the Seven of Swords, lies, betrayals, deceits, uh, kind of pick your poison. For me, behaviors or ways of doing things that uh, are not aimed at the best possible outcome. And that's why the energy can undermine the foundations of a connection or an interaction. The Eight of Wands, communication flow, we can uh, speak up, we can embrace meaningful conversations, I would say, because maybe this is also an energy that can allow some of you to discover something. And then the Queen of Wands is the energy that can allow you guys to get in touch with your intuition because the Queen is intuitively guided, she has a black cat as a best friend pretty cool and so she can understand if a situation is deserving of her attention, her time and her energies, you know, and it doesn't seem to be the case when it comes to this love connection, closing of a chapter. Speaking about work or professional situations, guys, some of you may think, I would say, about the opportunity to change job because the eight of cups can be the decision to choose a new direction why because someone in the workplace let's say may not be a reliable partner meaning a reliable ally when it comes to the professional endeavors the eight of ones can be an energy about communication again it's kind of like some of you can discover something that is not in your favor and you can understand that this can this can cause problems basically this can become an obstacle if that's the case the queen of wands is once again an energy that should be an encouragement to pay attention to what's going on around you guys because if the seven of swords is about someone that is taking away something from you when it comes to the uh, credit that can even be recognized um, if we think about um, work-related assignments. Well, this is a factor that uh, we have to address somehow, some way, and maybe the Eight of Cups can become an energy that can follow the word as the closing of a chapter. The word is also an energy about lessons, guys, and we come back to the meaningful Page of Pentacles energy because you can raise the level of awareness, wisdom and knowledge so that hopefully you can be more successful in the following stages of the journey. So this can be meaningful if we think about a work related scenario. Speaking about a personal interaction guys with a, a close person, let's say a family member, a friend or someone that you know and that can play a role uh, around you, uh, there is a problem. The Seven of Swords, someone may not be entirely honest, someone may not be trustworthy enough or sincere, let's say. Uh, the Eight of Cups can be about the opportunity to close a connection again 
or about someone that went away and after a certain amount of time this person can reach out once again if that's the case and you have felt uh, betrayed by this person for whatever reason you will have to evaluate the potential apology that can come your way and decide if it is deserving of your attention if that's the case the interaction can be embraced let's say but if for whatever reason the seven of swords cannot be forgiven you know maybe this chapter is about to end for good you know so let's ask for guidance considering these energies let's see what we can get take action it's the queen of wands energy it can be in favor uh, of you guys uh, in the love scenario the one that can be about um, a change of the landscape um, in the work related scenario because you can take the lead uh, when it comes to an interaction that maybe is not satisfying um, or maybe not respectful enough uh, for some of you and when it comes to the person that can reach out kind of from the past you will have to decide uh, what you want to do with them kind of figuring out if their apology is deserving romance well uh, this can speak about the love interaction unfortunately it doesn't seem to be one that can go the distance ask for help from others i feel that this is meaningful for the last scenario the one uh, that can speak about a close uh, person because maybe they can reach out but are they reaching out because of convenience maybe we have to pay attention uh, to that bottom of the deck we have let go which is meaningful because basically it's the eight of cups word combination so the love interaction was not meant to be uh, the situation work related uh, can um, offer the opportunity to change job because maybe it can be the best possible thing for us and when it comes to the interaction um, with a family member a friend um, we have to figure out why the connection went cold and why now this person is reaching out one more time so that we can decide uh, what to do next intention i love it guys because the seven of swords can be an energy about tricky intentions that are not genuine and we have to understand what forces can play a role around us because this is absolutely a key factor in order to understand if we can be successful in a particular endeavor field of dreams this is about aspirations and expectations guys um, i would say that it can be meaningful for the love connection that was not fulfilling enough so expectations were not uh, matched and also when it comes to uh, the work situation maybe we have felt that someone has taken advantage of our effort and no credit was given to us and that's why we have to address the situation we cannot overlook anything home this can be about the love connection guys maybe it was not possible to uh, build a home together with a person of interest or a partner and this can even be uh, something important when it comes to the uh, personal interaction because maybe it is family related you know maybe someone is coming around one more time a family member um, and some of you will have to figure out if the interaction can be restored in its balance into the unknown meaningful because it can be something that we can associate to the eight of cups the man in the eight of cups for me uh, can be the fool so ready to go all out on an adventure um, 
there can be a change, guys, in the love arena, in the professional arena, and then again, a potential change when it comes to the personal interaction, because we have to figure out why the other person is coming around one more time, especially if there was uh, some type of uh, uh, fallout, let's say, because of the Seven of Swords. Narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. It's kind of meaningful for the three scenarios. A love connection that was not ideal. That's why we can let go of it. A work-related situation with someone that can take advantage of our work and so we have to address the issue in a mature way but also in a way that um, does not accept any type of disrespectful behavior and also when it comes to the personal interaction we have to be a little bit careful i would say because of the seven of swords basically great adventure take a risk venture forward well it can be the great adventure of the man in the eight of cups the great adventure of the fool it's about moving on moving forward 100 percent um a change a change in the love arena, a change even when it comes to professional endeavors. It's meaningful, it can be for the better. Discovering truth, you stand in the light of truth. Well, this can be an energy that resonates with the Page of Pentacles open approach in order to discover something that can make the difference, guys. And protected by angels, which I love. Um, you are cherished by the angels. Always beautiful to see these energies in the readings because it uh, kind of means that we are protected and we can um, decide what can be the best possible thing for us, you know? Truth be told... I love it, guys, because uh, this is a lovely card. A mask falls off, and this can be about the love connection or the uh, work situation. Then, because we open up, basically, we speak up the Eight of Wands, even as an energy of uh, communication, we can open up new chances. Uh, look at the window, wide open, heart chakra position of the beautiful little owl. Lovely, guys. And... Even when it comes to the personal interaction, we have to be straightforward, you know, if we have felt uh, let down or betrayed by this person that can come around one more time, we should address the issue. And then we are going to see if it is possible to work things out. Serendipity, a lucky break, basically. Uh, lucky turn of the events when it comes to the opportunity to leave behind a connection in the love arena that was not ideal. Also, why not? lucky opportunity when it comes to professional endeavors, maybe a new job uh, opening, let's say, uh, can be offered in our favor, so we can go for it. Deep knowing, this is about intuition, meaningful if we think about the Queen of Wands. Bottom of the deck, uh, unfinished symphony number 10, it's a Wheel of Fortune vibration, guys, um, a cycle that is not over yet makes ton of sense considering the energies that we have seen and we have also TikTok which is on point I would say and new life guys a new chapter that is pending um, especially because we have the world after all so for an ending there can be a new beginning as the saying goes here we go release you have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. Unwanted energies, the Seven of Swords. So, releasing a person of interest or a partner that was not meant to be, releasing a work-related situation, and then, question mark about the uh, close friend or family member, we have to understand uh, what it can be possible um, to do.
in the situation. Tolerance. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. Well, guys, maybe uh, you have tolerated quite a lot uh, according to the scenario that can speak to you the most. Um, and then it's like patience has run out and we decide to pursue something different. Kindness. This can be meaningful if we think about um, the interaction with a close person. We have to understand if it is possible to work things out. You are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others. And maybe this can speak also about the apology that some of you can receive. We have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. This can be a virtue that you can display towards um, the people that can be around you. We have to understand also if these people can do the same thing. We have regret, bottom of the deck. I know that I cannot change the past. Well, the message is true. We cannot change the past, but we can learn from it. The word can be about that. Uh, I would say that there can be a certain amount of regrets when it comes to the love connection, but it seems that some of you are um, trying to manifest something different. This is a meaningful energy if we think about uh, a connection with a family member or a friend. And so we have to understand if it is possible to uh, restore harmony within the interaction. Soul. The energy of soul activates our connection to the part of us that is closer to the higher realms, God or the divine. This is like the spark that can guide the man in the Eight of Cups um, to the decision to embrace a new great adventure. He is going for fulfillment of heart and soul. And some of you can be called to do that in a love situation, um, in a work-related scenario, and even when it comes to a personal interaction. You have to understand if the connection is a meaningful one for you and if you want to um, give your best in order to fix it. Sensuality. The frequency of sensuality reminds us that as spirits in human bodies we are sensual beings experiencing joy and pleasure from the physical world through our senses. Guys, this is meaningful for the uh, love scenario, especially because we have the Queen of Wands, um, which can be an energy about attraction, desire, uh, sensuality indeed, uh, passion, chemistry. But, you know, maybe these factors were involved uh, in your connection, but um, maybe they were not enough. Maybe there was a desire for more. And the Seven Swords can be a tricky energy, you know, because maybe the other person was driven more by physical instincts. Bottom of the deck, we have Third Chakra. The energy of the Solar Plexus Chakra helps us to realize who we are and who we want to be, so we can set a course toward our goals. I love it, guys, because it is the Eight of Cups, world, great adventure, combination of energies, intention even, so that we can take action. Even if we have to face a narrow pathway, you know, but we can be productive. Some of you are going to embrace new chapters of the journey that can be better for you, more fulfilling, more satisfying, more successful, I would say. So, guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.